The most interesting pool is definitely pool A, where we have the WR chess team led by Magnus Carlsen and the GMHans.com team led by Hans. And, um, you know, th these teams will face each other again as they did in the final round of the Rapid Championship yesterday. And I guess um, there is some intrigue as to whether, you know, Magnus will be playing this match. Um, he didn't come out to play against Hans yesterday. And Hans did make a tweet about that. He said, if you aren't willing to handle things on the chessboard, don't even bother playing. Chess is the greatest combination of art and war. Cowardice leads to inevitable defeat. So some strong words there from Hans. What do you think, Peter? <laughs> well, <laughs> what can I think? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to cover chess. Uh, yeah, there, is a, there are always controversies between Hans and uh, Magnus. It would be nice to see them play, but of course it's up to Magnus to decide what's his take. Yeah, yes. with two games running. Welcome! Welcome wow. to the studio, Hans. Yeah, sit down. So Hans, tell us about the journey of your team here to the World Rapid Team Championship. Like, you, you came up with the idea, you just wanted to participate in this event and you created a team. Yeah, yeah, I created a, a, a team. Uh, with mainly just my friends. Uh, <laughs> we were not really, just we have good team spirit and uh, we have Brandon and Andrew coming all the way from America. And yeah. Andrew's doing great in this tournament. Yes, no, Andrew, it was funny. Uh, Andrew uh, is playing amazing and uh, he almost offered to rest this game, but I decided, I decided to put Andrew and Brandon in to, to show my and faith. they both won. Yes, they both won really amazing games. And, yes. Uh, our amateur board as well, so... So who is... Tell us a little bit about your amateur board. Um, Mero, I think his name is? Yes, yeah, he's... Uh, I sort of held, like, an open application uh, for my amateur board, and I had maybe, like, 300 people <laughs> message me with their wow. uh, FIDE rating, chess.com, Lee Chess account, uh, and I just went through, and I just said, like, message me your rating, and your, like, you know, both. So I, I looked and looked, and I found this guy, 2700 chess.com blitz, but 1850 FIDE, and his last tournament he played, he gained 200 points, and uh, he hasn't played really any, any chess in five years. So who, how old is he? 20, I think. 20, yes. so he's a pretty young player. Yeah, we have a very young team. Have a very... Wow, and he's from Syria. Yes, from Syria, yes. That's really cool, so you kind of like, um, you know, gave him this opportunity to come here and play in a big event. Yes, I, he was very happy, he's doing, he won a very nice game. I think yeah, we just saw his game yes, with, uh, his with technical, the Rooks. His yeah. technical ability is almost better than mine, you know, I need to... Uh, so, uh, no, I'm, I just wait until the blitz happens. And the blitz, I think, is real, uh, the real, the real, uh, sort of... The real marrow will come yes, out. Yes, yes, because, uh, you know, he's sort of, uh, not that experienced uh, playing over the board rapid, but, um, when our, when Selimova, our women's board, is around the same chess.com blitz rating as him. So I expect him to be very, very dangerous. Maybe he can beat, uh, the Chinese board, uh, who is, who's doing quite well. You guys have not played the China team. We yet. did, we did, yeah. Oh, you already did. Yeah, yeah. No, he had a good position, but um, I guess only only the illustrious Syrian player could could have a chance against. Uh... Yeah, Peng Bo. Everyone knows him now. Yeah, yeah. Quite... I, I saw him on the way to the bath, going to the bathroom, and I was like, "Oh, that's Peng Bo! I just <laughs> got his autograph." You know, I was so excited to see him. Yeah, no, he's really quite um, an illustrious character. So you guys have a good team. Team atmosphere. Yeah, no, we're all, like, most of the people, all the team, play, or my friends, and we have a good team atmosphere. We had a bit of uh, inconsistency, but uh, I think a big comeback is going to happen in the next two games. Right, so this team, this win that you guys had over Chessie, this is, like, the first, like, big top dog team you've beaten in this event so far? Yeah, I think we drew against another one of the good teams, but uh, I hope that we face the, the strongest teams in the next You got two uh, more rounds left. Who are you really hoping to play? I, it doesn't matter, you know. I think that uh, we may be underdogs on paper, but uh, we've got, uh, I think, great, great prospects to to finish in the top places if we win the next two matches. Yeah, um, the blitz is just, just going to be game you, over. Don't sit out, Andrew Hong. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. Um, yeah, oh, this is going to be good, but I think in the blitz, our we have like Andrew, Brandon, are like blitz specialists. So I, I feel I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but more. I'm not the biggest fan of rapid. It's really, it's hard for me to. I just don't know how to play rapid. I just the time management is just just impossible for me. So uh, I'm. Did you find it hard to transition to rapid like after your speech as champion? Yeah, I was. I feel like I, started, I went to the first game and I was just blitzing. I, it's so hard to just stop the hand from moving. I think uh, I need to 
Because other than rapid tournaments, you're never with some chess players and you never say, oh, let's play rapid. You know, you always play blitz. Mm -hmm. So the only times that I play over the board rapid are, are in tournaments. So I think I should play more over the board training games yeah. uh, to, to become more acquainted with rapid time. So where are you living these days? Um, well, I, I'm not living in America, that's for, that's for sure. <laughs> is, is it London? Is yeah, I'm living in London, sort of, but um, I, I'm living in London. Uh, I'm, I, I barely, I think this year I've spent uh, maybe two weeks in America. No, not even that, maybe ten days in America. Um, don't really play much chess there, so um, more tournaments in Europe. And what's, what's next for you? You have a bunch of matches coming up, right? Yeah, I'm playing against Anish uh, mm -hmm. literally the day after, so I have an insane schedule. So my... Um, this tournament finishes the 5th, the 6th of the morning, I fly to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Then I have to hopefully get a good night's sleep. And then uh, usually the matches start with classical, but we started with a blitz. So I'm fresh from the blitz tournament here. We start with 12 games of blitz on the 7th. Mm -hmm. And after those 12 games of blitz, I have my speech exchange match against Wesley So. Oh, wow. In, that even, in the evening, because, you know. And then the next day, it's three double round classical games, rapid, and then... It's basically three matches totaling, let's say, 18 classical games. Uh, no, no, no. 18 classical games, 18 rapid games, and um, 36 blitz games against uh, Anish, Nikita, and Bukro. So I'm very excited for this sort of new new format. Uh, well, let, final question before we let you go. GMHans.com. Yes, Do you want to tell us about it? Oh, it's my website. I have some like educational stuff. Uh, there's going to be more like stuff released. Uh, I want to create more equitable educational platform because certain courses are quite expensive. So uh, I, I, I personally, in my sort of growth as a chess player, as you know, in America, and as you do yourself, private lessons are very expensive. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I knew, if you want I'm lessons, lavish if, you want, if you want lessons with Arena Crush, it's very expensive. She is a <laughs> high in demand chess coach in New York City. You don't want to know how much she charges. Um, anyways, my point is, is that... Uh, I'll give you a discount, huh? A disc <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm more so, yeah. So, I, you know, I think it's like $6 a month to get... I wanted to sort of have my own platform to discuss things and uh, also to have updates about my chess career. So it's just, you know... Um, uh, certain courses on other websites are like 150 bucks, so I prefer to have my own, have an alternative uh, because I think chess is growing in a lot of disadvantaged areas throughout the world, and I quit chess uh, because I didn't because in America, it's first of all, you know, playing tournaments is very expensive, coaching is expensive, and you know, balancing that with academics, like uh, I, I think that we should, you know, you should have access to high quality training at a, at a good price. Well, that sounds awesome, Hans. First of all, thanks for joining us. Yes. We're happy to have your energy here. Yes. We're happy your team has done well and you're going to face yes. the other well, I'm honored teams. to meet Peter for the first time. I don't think we've spoken. Yeah, once Big in the fan. broadcast. In, oh, uh, yes, not in, yes, not in person, yes. Yes, yes. yes, exactly. And we are very happy for the team doing so well because we have been feeling the potential. Yes, Hans, yes. The gmhans.com team can really make the tournament up and down, upside down yes. in the last runs. We will try to, to, to make some magic happen. And, All right, well, uh, if it keeps going well, then we, hopefully you can come back. Yes, yes, okay, thank you, guys. All right, see you later. Thanks. All right, well, that was fun.